Hey, I'm Bob. I've been totally blind since birth and I'm into Star Wars. We're taking a look at an action figure from the Star Wars Legacy Collection. He comes from a comic pack. We took a look at the Clone Emperor Palpatine from this comic pack last year. And today we're taking a look at Luke Skywalker from Dark Empire 2. I always think of the dramatic audio adaptations of these comic books. And of course, Luke Skywalker was voiced by the late, great John Sagan in both Dark Empire, Dark Empire 2. Oh, yes, and Empire's End as well. So Luke is wearing a very uh, voluminous cloak here. I remember somebody once told me that this thing could probably double as a stage curtain at a Coruscant opera. <laughs> I can kind of see I can kind of see that. What a what a massive cloak Luke is wearing here. And I believe you can take it off. We're going to We're going to try and do this. It's a rubber cloak. So, I believe you can just Yeah, there we go. Get this off here. Just like that. And Luke, he's got a very wide figure stance here. Just let me grab his lightsaber rather quickly. Here we go. wonder if he can hold this. And I'm not really sure if it's his green saber or not. So here is Luke Sands' cloak. Get my finger off of him here so you can take a look at him. Yeah, he's got a bit of a wide stance. But uh, still a cool figure here. I don't know if he's a kit-bashed figure or an all-new figure. I think he's probably an all-new figure. Or was, back in the day when he came out. There he is from the back. We'll center him. Yet again, raise him up a little. There we go. And here he is from the right. Center him one more time. And now we're going to take a look at an accessory that I probably should have shown with Emperor Palpatine. I think he was listed as supposed to have been Palpatine's accessory, but we actually see this little guy talking to Luke in Dark Empire 2. So Luke comes with a Jedi holocron. And the holocron here is projecting a gatekeeper, a kind of legacy recording, if you will, of Jedi Master Vodo Siosk Bosk. And we saw Vodo Boss in Tales of the Jedi. He actually first appeared in Dark Apprentice, a Star Wars Legends novel written by Kevin J. Anderson. So this is Master Vodo coming out of the Jedi holocron. It's a very tiny figure here. He doesn't move or anything. Just a um, staction figure, I guess you'd call him. Of course, we saw Master Vodo in Dark Lords of the Sith. And I believe he was also in the Sith War, those comics. He also appeared in the audio adaptations. He was in uh, the audio adaptations of Dark Empire and Dark Empire 2 as well. When Luke uh, and Leia, they confiscated the holocron from the Clone Emperor here. And Master Vodo, he's a... Kravaki male, and I think these guys are a rather insectoid species. I don't know how well you're able to see him. He's such a teeny tiny little figure here. Probably about as big as Yoda, if not a little smaller. He's hunched over here. I don't know if he actually has his, his staff that he would use. But I love this little, this little gatekeeper here. Alright, try to show him off a little better. He's just so small, guys. But he was one of my favorite Jedi Masters from um, the days of old in Star Wars Legends. I love this little guy quite a lot. And he was Exar Kun's master in the Tales of the Jedi and Dark Lords of the Sith and the Sith War. Well, just... Uh, Dark Lords and the Sith War. I don't know if we saw him in the first Tales of the Jedi comics. Maybe not. 
He wasn't in the audio adaptation of Tales. He was just in Dark Lords of the Sith. If they had made the Sith War, he would have been in that too. So yeah, really cool little accessory there. So I usually just pair him up with Luke Skywalker because we did see Luke um, activating that holocron on Nespus 8 in Dark Empire 2 uh, when he was needing to know more about the planet Ossus and uh, how to find future Jedi candidates. And, you know, we saw him in the Jedi Academy trilogy. It's a great, uh, great little arc there involving this little Kravaki Jedi master. And uh, I like how all of the, the stories would connect in, uh, in Legends. Well, of course, they do now in canon as well. I mean, you've got to read everything to really get the, the full effect in uh, the Disney timeline. Anyway, we'll call this a Star Wars video, and I'll hear you guys next time. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.